Hey this is Neha and welcome back to my channel English with Neha Juneja. I hope you all have seen my previously uploaded video that was the part 1 of class 9 chapter the fun they had. And now in today's video I have covered up rest of the paragraphs of the same chapter the fun they had. So I'm going to start from para number 7. Let's proceed. Text from paragraph 7. A man isn't smart enough. Sure he is. My father knows as much as my teacher. He knows almost as much. I betcha. Maji wasn't prepared to dispute that. She said, "I wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me." Tommy screamed with laughter. "You don't know much, Margie. The teachers didn't live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing." Sure, if they were the same age. Now I am explaining. Here, betcha means I bet. Maji said that a man teacher is not as smart or intelligent as the machine teacher. Tommy asked Maji not to underestimate the human teacher. He said that he is as knowledgeable as the machine. He compares the machine to his father and says that his father knows as much as his machine teacher. Tommy could bet. on that the human teacher knew as much as a mechanical teacher did but margie did not want to discuss this dispute further as she was disagreed with this she added that she did not want a strange man the human teacher to come to her house to teach her to- tommy found it very funny when margie said that she did not want a strange man to come to her house to teach her tommy said the teachers didn't come to the students house to teach them they had a special building a school and the students went to the school to study margie was so surprised she was astonished and asked that did all the children learn the same thing tommy said that all the children of the same age studied the same thing text of paragraph 8 but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently just the same they didn't do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book i didn't say i didn't like it maji said quickly she wanted to read about those funny schools they weren't even half finished when maji's mother called maji school maji looked up not yet mama now said mrs jones and it's probably time for tommy too maji said to tommy can i read the book some more with your after school here maji refers to a machine teacher she says that her mother told her that machine had to be tuned to the level of each boy or a girl who was studying from it so each child had to be taught separately depending on their level to this tommy replied that in the past they did not do it that way Tommy got irritated at Margie and said that she need not read the book. Margie is interested in the book. She wanted to know what kind of schools they are in were the past as she felt that they were fun. Margie had read just half of the book when her mother called her as it was the time for her to attend her virtual classroom. Margie's school was in the next room next to her bedroom. She said to her mother that not yet she did not want to go to school. Maji's mother said to Tommy that it was time for him to go to school too. Maji was so interested in reading the book that she asked Tommy if she could read the book with him after school. Paragraph 9 Maybe he said nonchalantly. He walked away whistling the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Maji went into the school room. It was right next to her bedroom. and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her it was always on at the same time every day except saturday and sunday because her mother said little girls learn better if they learn at regular hours the screen was lit up and it said today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot explanation to the text nonchalantly means not showing much interest or enthusiasm or being careless 
Tommy tried to ignore her and said that maybe she could read it. Tommy was feeling very great because Margie was interested in reading the book. He placed the book under his arm and he went off to his home. Margie reached her school. It was a room next to her bedroom. It was a virtual classroom. There was a machine teacher for Margie. It was on and it was waiting for her to begin teaching her. Margie studied all the days except Saturdays and Sundays at the same time from this mechanical teacher. Margie's mother was very particular. She had told Margie that she would learn better if she would study every day at the same time. Margie sat in front of the machine similar to a computer and the machine was turned on. It said that the lesson of the day was in arithmetic and the topic was addition of proper fractions. Further it instructed her to insert the homework of the previous day in the slot for inserting the homework. Text of paragraph 10 Margie did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom. going home together at the end of the day they learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it and the teachers were people the mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fraction 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 maji was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days she was thinking about the fun they had explanation to the text Margie's life is also very mechanical just like a machine there is no fun in her classroom it is very dull and boring just like a machine Margie is thinking of the story told to her by her grandfather her grandfather told her that his grandfather used to go to school when he was a little boy as Margie is bored with this machine she is reminded of that life Actually this is the life that you all are living at present but for the future kids it will be just a memory of the past for them it will be history because their life will be very different they will study from machines not from human teachers when marji comes to know that in the past children used to go to school they sat together laughed shouted in the school she gets curious about it and wants to go to school Actually here the writer wants us to realize the importance of schools in our life. Children sometimes get bored and fed up of going to school, but if you don't have a school, you won't get to meet friends. Your life will be very dull and boring. So Margie feels that school is so much fun. Children get together, they study in a fun way. They get the same homework and they can discuss it. So all the students become friends and study in a fun way. She found it very strange that the teachers were not machines but they were human beings as Margie had inserted her homework the machine started with the lesson there was no pause no time for fun no time for chatting and no time for interacting with friends the author ends the story with the title of the chapter the fun they had the fun the students had when they went to real schools Margie is just thinking about the kids of the past who went to school and enjoyed studies thank you so much do like share and subscribe my channel and keep watching english with neha juneja goodbye